Right, I've got back in the church. I've got the other camera now. That bee's still in here. I just hope I don't run out. I did a really thorough video the other day. Um, and I took photos. Frances Hutton Eva Hassel, younger daughter of John and Maud Hassel of Dalmain, member of the Order of the British Empire, Doctor of Divinity, officer of the Order of Service of Canada, who for over 50 years was the life spring of the Western Canada Caravan Mission, to which she devoted her entire life. She was born the 13th of December 1886 and died the 3rd of May 1974. And I particularly made a note of her because she, um, she was a pioneer, really, for ladies. And underneath that, you've got the, to the blessed memory of Francis Hassel, the faithful parish priest of Dhaka. His loving parishioners and friends placed this memorial, mindful of his Christ-like work and bright example. Yeah, because I came in here and I did all this videoing. I mean, I'll be lucky if this lasts, this camera, because um, I've done all that lake stuff. This church was lit by electric light in thankfulness to Almighty God for the Christian life of service for church and country of Dorothy Julia Hassel of Dakar Lodge, who was born January the 13th, 1883, and died February the 19th. 19th, 1936. She was the elder daughter of John Edward Hassel of Dalmain. Because I've got a feeling I missed a lot of plaques out when I came the first time. <sighs> Up in that corner, I guess I do run out, there's the Solomon plaques over there. There was a bee, that bee was in here the other day. might be alright because I did charge it up. But I must have taken a half an hour when I came in here the other day because I went up to the night. But he's left the light on so it don't go off. So all these windows are dedicated to hassle, see? And let me get up to do the night. Ah, oh, hi medieval. It's Sheila, she's back again. I can't keep away from you, can I? You drew me back to you, medieval. You could be connected to the Stutfels and the Declares, who have, of whom I am a member of that family, medieval. <sighs> Looks like when they grabbed you, they just maybe took your head off and your feet got left behind, yeah? Yeah, so here's this medieval effigy, probably 13th century. Here. So I was unable to video last time I came, uh, well, not last time, the time before that. To the glory of God and in the memory of Edward Hassel. That's that up there. Then we've got this lovely, great big memorial here. Near this place are interred the mortal remains of Edward Hassel of Dalmain Esquire, who departed this life the 24th of December 1825 in his 60th year of his age. He was the son of Christopher Hassel Esquire and grandson of Edward Hassel Esquire, who died possessor of Dalmain in 1781. So that's a really big plaque with the name Hassel. And also the badge and everything. Coat of arms, I should say. Then you've got on this other one over here. This one. Sir Edward Hassel. This is another one. Um, who was Sheriff Cumberland and Deputy Lieutenant. Um, he married twice to Jane eldest daughter of Timothy Feather 
front how of Kirkwald and they had another daughter as well Dorothy daughter of William Williams yeah I missed that one out before I got them I got them in the wrong order I think and what happened some of the pictures have come out quite well that I did most of it hasn't but some have come out of the close-ups Underneath the stone lies the remains of Edward, the beloved and only son of Edward Williams and Dorothy Hassel, who died in April 1833, aged four years. And then you've got here lies the body of Mrs. Jane Hassel, eldest daughter of Sir Timothy Featherstone Hall of Kirkwald Knight, who was beheaded for his loyalty to King Charles. She was first married to Bernard Kirkbride, and after married to Edward Hassel, born May 1629, died 1695. Then we've got the St Andrew's banner. And then up here we've got in memory of Edward Hassel Esquire, who departed this life at Dalmain in the year 1781, age 83. And of Julia, his wife, second daughter of Sir Christopher Musgrave, Bart, who also died at Dalmain in the year 1778, aged 62. Also here, there's their two sons, Williams, who died 1786, aged 49, and Edward, who died at Woodford in Essex in April 1794, aged 56. This monument was erected by their youngest daughter, Mary Hassel, who, by the benefits of her brother Edward, was enabled to pay this last tribute of affection to her parents and to her brothers. Then we got this one. To the glory of God and in memory of William Hassel, born 1836, died 1870. So he wasn't around for long, was he? Then we've got near the, this are interred the remains of Jane, the wife of Edward Hassel of Dalmain, who died the 25th of November, 1816, aged 21. She was the daughter of the Reverend Robert Whitehead of Ormside Lodge in the county of Westmoreland, and Jane, his wife. So there's the night. There was a night that went missing somewhere, but you might have been once from the Knights Templar. Red, rusty red. I got that bit done. Yeah, it's a beautiful church. It's a very old font, this one. And then we've got some um, bits of old brickwork here. can't remember what it's Viking, I think. I think it's quite old. I can't remember the actual... We've got more Hassles here. William Lowther Hassel, captain of the 44th Reg Re Regiment of Bengal... And our youngest son of the late Edward Hassel Esquire of Dalmain and Jane his wife, who died at Cairo on his way home from the east, June 13th, 1849, aged 32. And then up here, oh, that's a martial one, but it's quite a nice picture there of a sort of knight of some sort. Then we got to the glory of God and in loving memory of Edward William Hassel, Squire of Dalmain, January 1888 to 1972, farmer, forester, soldier and friend who devotedly served his country and this church throughout his whole life. There's so many memorials. Then we got Elizabeth, the wife of Edward Hassel of Dalmain Esquire. She died July the 12th, 1810, aged 42, and was the daughter of William Carras of Kirkby Lonsdale, Gent, by Elizabeth, his wife, the youngest daughter of Roger Wilson of 
cost them on haul. So there's that one. Then, of course, we've got this beautiful, beautiful etched glass window dedicated to, because um, I got Sylvia Mary McCosh of Dalmain. 1922 to 1991. I don't know if it'll come out. I, I got a good picture of it when I came the first time, actually. So there's that one as well. That was dedicated to her. She liked her gardening, I believe. So I managed to... What I want to try and be able to do is just take some photos. I've tried to get everything in. Just go around a little bit to get a feeling of it rather than when I'm jumping. Let's hope this turns out. And then we've got our night down there, of course. By night, I might come back again, you never know. You got me back a second time pretty quick. Oh, up there we got George Edmund Hassel of Dalmain, 1847 to 1932. I've got quite a big plaque of that one. And these windows here. Oh, so. This window is dedicated to the glory of God and in memory of John Edward Hassel of Dalmain by the parishioners of Dakar and other friends in 1911. And then, finally, this one. Christopher Hassel, born May 29th, 1814, died May 24th, 1861. <laughs> Hugh Park and Esquire, who've got the slightly different people over this way. You can hear that bee, can't you? Oh. This is the Solomon family here that married into the Hassels. I'm not going to read all that out. There's a lot of it there. There's another font, a more modern one. And that's me. I've written in there in the book. And I paid for my, my guides as well. That's the bell ringing area. There's people that died in the war. Of the Border Regiment and the Canada Infantry for King and Country. 